All right, so I'm going to play this all the way through. Then I'm going to give you my analysis of what we're looking at. So check it out. All right, so I get my shot block, right? So now let's look at exactly what occurred right here, though. All right, matter of fact, let's look at it one more time all the way through. All right, now, for me, what I wanted to do was, and, and this is just to show you how um, a lot of times you're being forced to submit to the defense. So instead of um, you, or instead of the defense having to overcome you or stop you or prevent you, they'll force you to capitulate or structure your movements in such a way where the, uh, where the defense could actually come in and do its job better. You know, whereas in real life, the, the defense has to force you to do what it wants. But so I come in, what I want to do, obviously, because I got the basket in front of me. The first thing that the game does is it forces me to curve outwards. It's doing this for the sole purpose of giving the defense the space and that window of time that they need to be able to catch up and throw me off my shot. So when you look at me running, I'm going towards the basket in the angle. But look when I go for the ball and I catch it. You see, I curve outwards, right? This is done de uh, deliberately. This is not accidental. You see, I go around the man and they force me to curve outwards, although I'm running towards the basket. So now that gives him, that gives him more of the inside, right? It gives him more of this area right here. This is what they bank on, the nuances of basketball to cheat the user, right? They bank on little nuances like this. So I come in and you look at my lead foot. Pay attention to that lead foot. This is what, you know, what's going to be the deciding factor in what happens and whether or not he's able to defend my shot or block it or whatever. Because I could have just went up for a strong dunk or a layup and he wouldn't have been able to do anything about it. But when you look at my lead foot, that right foot, watch what they forced me to do with it. Watch this. Boom. You see where it is now? Look at that. All right. You see where it is now? It comes from inside the circle to all the way, not just a little bit, but all the way outside of the circle. And that forces me into a position where when I jump, now you see where the ball is instead of it being closer to the rim where I'm getting a dunk off or a layup or something and it's away from the defense, I'm forced into going into a position that is more easier for the defense to handle, for, for them to be able to block. See, the ball is in front of me. I bring it all the way around and behind the computer, putting it exactly where he needs it to be to block it, right? Instead of just going for a regular dunk or layup animation, I'm forced to shift, slide back. You see that? Slide back. I'm not moving my feet, well, at least not stepping, not walking. The game slid me into the proper position for the defense to be able to actually guard me. You see this, right? That is how that is how the algorithm is programmed to cheat the user. It does things like this right here to prevent you from being able to just completely dominate and wash the computer up, right? So now I'm forced into doing that, and then I go into an animation that's easier for him to block. Where where in reality I'm supposed to be somewhere closer to the rim, and the ball is supposed to be somewhere by the rim, but instead it's behind, you know. The computer and it's right where he needs it to be all right this is how they force you into a position to aid the computer and being able to guard you they're forcing you to submit and capitulate to the defense instead of making the defense good enough to actually guard you and stop you they force you to do what the defense needs you to do on offense for them to be able to uh, uh, hold you right that is that is pure trash that is cheating. That's how the that's how the game is programmed to cheat. That's how it's scripted to cheat. All right. Look at the defense. That's why the defense is so perfect. It's not that it's always just that perfect. They force you to do what's necessary in order for defense to be able to hold better defense. They make you do certain things that help them guard you. All right. Anyway, peace.